What's up guys? This is your boy Nick here with another video. Uh this one'll be a pretty short one. It's gonna be on my nineteen eighty eight Nissan three hundred ZX, the Z thirty one body style. Um I was having some problems with the digital dash readings and uh couldn't find anything on the internet that kinda covered the particular issue I was having. So uh, I decided to go ahead and dive in and uh, do some troubleshooting on it and want to show you guys what I found. So this is what was happening. Uh, I'd be driving down the road and say I was going like 20 miles per hour and the dash would be reading 20 miles per hour. But I look up the next minute and then it was reading zero, even though I'm still driving the same speed. Then I go like another block or so and then it's reading 20 miles per hour again. So I was getting the intermittent speed reading on the digital dash, like there was a short or loose connection. Uh, I didn't know what was going on. So as I start troubleshooting, I ruled out the dash itself because about a year ago, uh, I had it sent off to be repaired, you know, all the uh, lighting and the connections, all that kind of stuff. I sent it off to be repaired and it was working just fine for a long time. And then after a while, I started getting this intermittent speed reading. So I said, I don't think it's actually the digital dash itself. It must be that the speedometer cable was bad or uh, I don't know, some kind of connection issue or something. Uh, so I'll show you what I found. So what I originally thought was that your speedometer cable came from underneath, from the transmission, up into this engine bay, through the firewall, and plugged into your digital dash to give you your speed reading. Uh, but after checking things out, I found out that's not the case on the digital dash setup. But what I found on these digital dash models is I traced the speedometer cable up to the passenger side of the vehicle that came up to this device, wherever the heck it is, I'm gonna call it a sending unit. It plugs into the back of this unit, which is right by the battery, and it runs into a wiring harness. And I'm assuming that the speedometer cable plugs into this, this runs into the wiring harness, which that goes to the digital dash and, si and sends the speed reading signal to the digital dash from this location here. It does not go directly, the speedometer cable does not go directly into the digital dash. It comes here and gets sent to the digital dash, if that makes any sense. Kind of crazy. Okay, underneath the car here, uh, I'm trying to film this over my head and I can't tell if it's upside down or not. But anyway, uh, this is towards the back of the transmission. I'm filming from the passenger side. Uh, here's the speedometer cable that comes from the passenger side I was talking about earlier. And it runs into what they call this pinion gear that meshes with the transmission. So it's a, as the transmission is turning, it turns this pinion gear, which turns this uh, little spleen or spline inside the the speedometer cable and reads the speed. Uh, so I figured that this might be worn or bad. Um, so I did take this out and it's just a matter of, I don't know if you see these, uh, <clears throat> these little splines here. All you do is do a uh, lefty Lucy. Uh, I use a pair of pliers cause this can, probably hasn't been off in over 30 years. Uh, turned it left and it unscrewed and then it slides back down over the cable, okay? It slides back over the cable, okay? Um, and then uh, you have to remove this uh, little uh, ground wire screw and there's a little catch there. Once you take that screw out and drop that screw, there's a little catch that holds that pinion gear inside the transmission. So it just pops out. Once you take the screw out, you'll see it. And then this pinion gear just literally just pops out of the side of the transmission. 
The only thing really holding it is this screw, and this little catch here, and there's a little rubber uh, grommet, or whatever you want to call it, around the actual pinion gear that keeps oil from running out of the transmission once you pop it in there. So uh, that's the way, if you've never messed with it before, that's how you remove these here. I haven't found anything on the internet really about it, so uh, that's what I had to do to, to remove it. Um, you are gonna get a little bit of uh, gear oil that will drop out uh, once you take it out, but it's no big deal, it's not much. Uh, then I'll uh, explain to you what I had to go through after that, uh, once I put this back in, as far as the gear, gear oil is concerned. So I looked in my uh, Nissan Haynes manual uh, for repairs there, and I went to the transmission uh, page, and it does show you how to remove this uh, pinion gear, as you see it right there, and uh, put it back in. But it doesn't say anything about uh, if there's a way to service them or anything. So I guess this, if you uh, suspect it's bad, you just have to replace it. Uh, but they're about $109 for this thing. Uh, and that's the cheapest I could find. And uh, so I wanted to see if it was a way you, maybe you can clean it up or uh, something like that before I spent that kind of money on another one. So I said, what the heck, uh, I'll just take this thing out, clean it up and uh, see if I can put it back in and maybe it'll work again. So I took it out, sprayed it down with some carburetor cleaner, uh, blew it out with some compressed air. Uh, the book did recommend that you change this little O-ring around it. Um, so it, when you put it back in the side of the transmission, it'd be, uh, that's likely to leak oil out. So I did that. And um, I said, let's hope for the best and see if this thing works. So once I got the uh, pinion gear back in, uh, while I was uh, dealing with all this anyway, I decided to go ahead and drain and refill the uh, transmission gear oil. Uh, it calls for, for this uh, particular model, 75 uh, 90 weight gear oil um, as you come from the pinion gear area the back of the transmission right up underneath uh, you can see that uh, little drain plug there it uses a uh, I just used a half inch wrench uh, drive and it's lefty loosey to um, open that also and on the driver's side of the transmission there's another plug higher up that you also open up. Um, and then once this is drained, uh, you know, you put this plug back in and refill it from that side plug on the driver's side there. And it's also a half inch uh, to remove it also. 75W90 gear oil. So I put the gear back in, put everything back together, uh, put the gear oil back in, drove it for a couple of days, and lo and behold, I haven't had that intermittent problem anymore. Uh, Digital Dash is working fine, it's keeping up with my speed, and for now, I'm just hoping I got lucky on that one. I didn't have to replace it. Uh, I, my next thing was going to be to see if I can find a speedometer cable, maybe that was worn, and that could be it. But so far, what I did, you're just taking it out, cleaning, and putting back in worked. Um, this is the gear oil I was talking about to put back into the transmission. Um, I got this from Walmart, cheapest place I can find it. 75 weight 90 gear oil, super tech. And I think it was uh, eight or ten dollars, can't remember. But anyway, uh, I think I used a quart and maybe a quarter of another quart to fill it back up. Um, and at these, it also takes it in uh, the same gear oil into the rear end too, if you wanna change that. So I did, I changed the gear oil in the transmission as well as the rear end, the same gear oil. Uh, but anyway, if you have one of these uh, model 300ZX, uh, 
with the VG30 engine, the Z31, they call it. Uh, what is that from 87 to 89, I think? 87, 88, 89 models, yeah, with the digital dash. That was my fix for that intermittent problem. I couldn't find anything else on the internet, so I said, Nick, won't you put a, your own video uh, about what you experienced on there? You know, help some brothers and sisters out. But anyway, uh, that's about it. Uh, any comments, please drop them down below. Suggestions, uh, any experience you had with it, uh, just let me know. Uh, please hit that like button and I guess I'll see you in the next one.